If you think AI alone is powerful, think about how powerful it will become once you hook it up with automation and automate processes in your business. You might already be using Zapier and in this video I'm going to show you how to hook up your custom GPT you built with Zapier. This is insanely powerful. Let's get right in and start. I'm here in ChatGPT. I won't go into detail in this video how to build your own GPT. If you haven't done that, if you want to know how to do that, check your description. There's going to be a video there that, that walks you through how to do that. Let's assume you already have a GPT that you now want to hook up with Zapier. I'm going to select this GPT as a demo. And this is a business planner GPT. This is fairly simple. Let me show you what this is. I go here and say edit. And in the configure tab now, um, I want to connect it to Zapier. And this is going to happen down here in the actions area. So we click on create new action. And then we will click on import from URL. In order to get that URL, find the link in the description that I posted there. This is the link to this page here. So it's a Zapier documentation page. The link is down below this video. And we scroll down a little bit and have this URL. So we copy this URL and then go back into ChatGPT, click import from URL paste the URL we just copied and say import and then it will import this crazy long code and you don't have to worry about that you don't have to understand it just as is don't change anything and click on update to the right and confirm and then there's more that's not all don't worry you don't have to take notes all the steps and all the links I'm using here are compiled into a free pdf that you can access down below in the description, everything's in there, so no worries. So now we basically have set up an initial connection to Zapier, and this assumes that you also have a Zapier account, what we're gonna do from now on. There's a free version of Zapier account where you can do simple automations, and then for more advanced stuff, we have a paid version too. Now, if you scroll down, you see we have this action here, actions.zapier.com is connected. So that's great, that's step one. Now, step two, we go back, same page, the documentation page that we were before we scroll down and then here instruction template this whole thing we copy and then we pop back and now here whatever you have up here in your instructions can be untouched you scroll simply to the bottom and append this set of instructions what these instructions are doing and you can by the way you can change those those are just standard instructions so to make this whole thing work it will tell GPT how to react when you want to interact with Zapier. And that's pretty useful. And the steps that are here definitely work. And some of you might want to make it um, faster so that you don't have to review anything that ChatGPT suggests and you can start the automation right away. There are different versions to do that. We will just go with the standard setup here. So this uh, rules and then we have a few steps and instructions. We don't change anything about that. And then we go down and here see required actions. And this part here, here you add the actions that you want ChatGPT to have access to inside Zapier. We have two demo actions here, like a Google Calendar action and um, Slack, send a direct message over Slack. We don't need any of those. We will do our own actions in a second. So let me delete this part and also the confirmation link here. Um, and we will, in a second, um, put um, our new stuff in that we want to do. Okay, let's just delete that. Now it looks like this, required actions. And we have the name of the action and then we have the configuration link. So far, so good. Now, there's a second link that is down in the description and that will take you to the Zapier page where you set up the actions you want GPT to have access to. So this is the second link here, actions.zapier.com slash GPT slash actions. I already have two actions created here as an example. One is to create an email and save it into a draft folder right from within chat GPT. And the other one is to add a lead to a campaign in my CRM system, just to give you two examples. And we will delete this one and then set it up again. So let me quickly delete this one. And now we will say add new action. If you start this for the first time, you will just see OpenAI um, and add a new action. So you click on that button and then you basically type in whatever you want to do. Search thousands of apps and actions, right? So in my case, I want to do um, Gmail draft. So I, touch, I just type in Gmail and then it will auto-populate. 
Okay, send mail, reply to mail, find email, create a draft. That's what I want to do. And you could search any app that you want. Any app that's connected in your Zapier account, you can access through here. This is also especially useful because you don't have to log into like your CRM or Google Docs or whatever it is you want to access. You can stay inside ChatGPT. You can keep working with your custom GPT that's been trained on your business, on your ideal customer, or on your brand voice and can create content. And then when you're ready, you send it to whatever other tool you want. It's super valuable. So Gmail account. Um, if you already have it connected in Zapier, you'll be able to select it. If not, you connect a new one, but we already um, have it connected. Then the subject line, in this case, you could either say set a specific value, but I actually want to be as general as possible. So I want AI, specifically ChatGPT, to come up with the subject line, also the to field and the body of the email. All of these should come from ChatGPT. Um, and then I encourage you to click on show all options. That's always good because it will show you all the other options you have. Like you can define the from field, the from name, um, attachments and all sorts of things. And those change depending on what action you have up here. If your action is to create a new Google Doc, then obviously you have different fields here and you have to read through them. And also all the way down at the bottom, you can name this action, give it a custom name. And especially if you have multiple actions, like imagine you have 20, 30, 40, it might be reasonable to find a naming convention that works. So you could, for example, say you always start with the tool Gmail oops, and then um, minus or hyphen. And then you say create draft that, that way you always have the tool first and then what it actually does. And you can remember those. It's going to be easier for you to keep track and to have a good system. Let's say enable action. That's all good. And then I have to actually click on it again and then copy the URL up here. And this is going to be the confirmation URL that I have to put back into ChatGPT. So let's pop back over to ChatGPT. And the action was called Gmail minus create draft. And then the configuration link is the one I just copied. All right. And now let's go back to the Zapier actions again. And say done. And just to give you the, another example, I have this other one um, here and I will simply scroll all the way down to show all options. And I will say, this is called Rainmaker add lead to campaign. And then I also copy this URL from up here. This is my second one, pop it back in here and say Rainmaker minus add lead to campaign, wonderful. And that's it. So now I go to save. And the first time you do that, you have to log into Zapier and you have to set the um, access restrictions that OpenAI actually gets access to Zapier. These are like pop-up windows that you have to confirm once. But now this is it, we're done. And now we can test it here on the right side and we can say, um, please draft following email. So I said recipient is Michael. Let's add an email address here. It is an invitation to Gretchen's 30th birthday party, themed Safari, December 13th, 13th, 8 p.m. Use a fun and engaging tone and save the draft in my Gmail account. Obviously, this is um, just an example. And especially if you use voice to text, you would be able to provide more information uh, of the draft email you want to be drafted. And I actually don't have to use the name here, the, the name of the action. It will understand what I want to do, that I want to save a draft in Gmail and find the right action that I set up in the instructions. So let's hit enter here and fingers crossed. Okay, starting action. Some info will be sent to action saper.com. You have to sign in. This is great news. I can actually show you how to do that. So we click on it and it says OpenAI wants to access your Sapier account and you will say allow. Wonderful. We go back. Now, the problem is we have to do it again. I just rewrote the same thing. This is good for you to know um, that you actually make sure to do that before you have an elaborate prompt or save it. Um, the thing is also here in the preview section, the things you do are not saved in the chats on the side. So if you actually go out and are in the normal GPT mode where you open a new chat in your custom GPT, then your conversation will be saved in your history. Okay, let's try this again. And hopefully we'll call on the actions. This all looks pretty good. 
and all is done in the background. I didn't code a thing, remember? I did some copy pasting, I put a URL in and yeah, set up some stuff. Everything is like basically copy paste and clicking a few buttons, it's super easy. And all of a sudden you have access to thousands and tens of thousands of automations that are provided by Zapier, which is super incredible. Okay, we allow that. Yeah, the draft email for Michael's invitation to Gretchen's birthday party um, is created in your Gmail draft folder. You can review and send it from there. Fantastic, let's pop over and see how that works. I click on draft and here invitation to Gretchen's birthday party. Um, hey Michael, I hope this email finds you well. I'm super excited to invite you to this celebration. Gretchen's 30th birthday party is going to be a wild time. Mark your calendar, can't wait to see you there. I just have to click send. That's beautiful. I mean, this is just a simple example. If you are on a walk and you have a bunch of emails you have to write and you just dictate a few things and have the custom GPT that knows how you want to talk, knows the background information about your company, about your customers, and that will uh, write those drafts and you go back to your computer and you find them in your draft uh, follow that is super useful. But also if you can pull data and, and, and send data to all the Zapier apps that you're connected with all from within your custom GPT, I think you can start uh, having your brain work out how insanely powerful that is. And if you haven't been using Zapier yet, um, we have a new video for you that will walk you through Zapier and explain you the basics of how to do automation. And ChatGPT AI on one hand, automation on the other hand, those two combined are like an incredible superpower. So make sure to check that out and like and subscribe if you like this content and we see you in the next video.